The Zambia National Men's Network for Gender and Development has called for abolishment of the bride price locally known as Lobola. Organization's National Coordinator Nelson Banda says the cultural practice has lost its essence because most families have commercialized it. Mr. Banda argues that the financial gain that should have been meant for appreciation has instead become a contributor to gender-based violence. He says to balance the scale, it is high time women are no longer treated as transactional objects that are subjected to ill treatment by their spouses. Bright spice in Zambia is called lobola. This is a pre-wedding practice where the groom is asked to pay an appreciation fee to his intended wife's family for raising her well. This fee is usually in monetary form in urban cities or livestock in rural areas. However, the country has in the recent past been experiencing increased cases of gender-based violence which the National Men's Network have attributed to the bride price and want it abolished. Nelson Banda is Men's Network National Coordinator. I feel that uh, there's need for uh, government, especially the House of Chiefs, to come up with the uh, guidelines on how this issue can be resolved because uh, one of the reasons why uh, GBV is going up is that men feel they own women. But how do the public feel about this call? The issues of GBV is something else. They can't say that they should scrap it off. Because at the end of the day, we go through a lot to raise our daughters. That's a voting, that's a voting and misunderstanding. But that money is not contributed to GBV. That's a misunderstanding. And it's normal to charge the worst, no more, very no more. If you have to work with you, it's just a matter of misunderstanding. There's no need to work with you. No second amount. No job in here. After charge. According to the Zambia police statistics for the second quarter of 2023, over 9,988 cases of gender-based violence were reported countrywide compared to the 7,589 GBV cases recorded in the second quarter of 2022. Victoria Kayeye Yambani, Diamond News.